Hey everyone, it's Jazz here, and uh, this is basically a Photoshop sort of quick tip. Uh, I was recently talking to a friend, uh, David B. One Four Nine Four, a friend on YouTube. You might know him. Uh, if not, then definitely subscribe to him. He has great content. I'll put his link over in the description. And um, yeah, YouTube.com/slash David B. One Four Nine Four. Great videos. He was asking how to make a, uh, a Web 2.0 logo, specifically this sort of border that you see here. If you look closely. You'll see that uh, there's the highlight, but you also have a, what looks like a border. And it's actually not a border, it's just actually part of the background of the uh, logo, of the button. But uh, this highlight is inset, so it looks like it's creating a border. And uh, that's what he wanted to know how to do, so I did it for him the first time. And I tried telling him, and he said I should make a video because a couple of people have uh, wanted to know. So hopefully this, guy, this helps you guys. So we're just going to make exactly what you see here with that sort of highlight. So let's minimize this. We're going to create a new document. And sorry if my resolution is uh, pretty low. I'm just trying to keep it as optimized as possible for YouTube. So width, we'll just say 500. Height, 500. Hit enter, 72 dpi. Uh, we got our layers over here. Let's make this a bit bigger. And let's go on full screen, actually. So what we're going to do is just grab our shape tool. Uh, you can do that by pressing U or pressing this button down here. And uh, we're gonna go to the rounded rectangle tool up here. And I'm gonna give it a radius of around 16 pixels. Uh, I'm using Photoshop CS3, but it should all be the same if you're in CS4. Uh, give it a radius of 16 pixels and make sure the third box on the right, fill pixels, is uh, selected. Mode normal, opacity 100%, anti-alias. Anti-alias isn't required, but uh, it is good to have it on because it makes things a bit smoother. So let's create a new layer here, and we're just going to call this background. And with your shape tool, let's just drag out a shape. And uh, you can, before I do this, make sure your colors are set to the default colors. You can do that by pressing D or just clicking this button here. So black foreground, uh, white background. So let's uh, drag out a shape here. Anything really works. Let's just make that. And uh, so we have our base shape. We're going to double click on the layer uh, on the right hand side of the layer to bring up our layer styles dialog box. And we're going to go down to gradient overlay. And uh, let's set our opacity down to around 20 just so we get a sort of subtle uh, dark gray to black gradient going on there. Dark gray at the top. Uh, then we're going to create a new layer and we're just going to call this highlight. And then we're going to take our marquee tool and make sure you're on the elliptical marquee tool. Feather zero, anti alias checked, style normal. Make sure the first one is uh, selected, new selection. So then we're just going to drag <coughs> an oval, excuse me, over our box. And once you like what you see, just uh, let go of the mouse. And we're going to fill this with our background color. To do that on a Mac, press uh, command delete on a PC I believe it's control delete and you'll get this big white oval on top of your shape so we're going to uh, select our um, background so we're gonna hold command and click this little preview box next to where it says background and then we're gonna go back up to our highlight layer and we're gonna press uh, V to go to our move tool and uh, then we're just gonna press command shift I which will invert the selection we're going to hit delete so that the only part of the oval is on top of the rectangle. As you see before, um, part of the rectangle is over, uh, whoops, part of the oval is outside of the rectangle. So uh, let's do that again and hit delete. And now we're going to add a, uh, we're going to set our fill opacity on the highlight layer down to around, uh, I don't know, something like 30, I guess. And then we're going to double click it just like we did with our background layer. We're going to give this a gradient overlay as well, just white to black. And we're going to set the opacity of our gradient overlay way down to about 10 or 11. I just have it 11. And we're actually going to set our fill opacity down even further. So you just get a very subtle highlight. Um, 3 or 4% is all it needs. So now we have our basic highlight. We're going to uh, add some text here. Let's just take our text tool and say your text here. And we'll just make this a lighter gray. Uh, let's just 
go like that. Whatever. It's not really a big deal. So now the important part, we're going to go to our highlight layer and we're going to press command and click the little preview box next to it. There should be a checkered background and a little bit of white there. It might be hard to see, but so we're gonna press command or control on a PC and click that preview. And now we're gonna take our move tool and then we're gonna go up to select, modify, contract. Remember that select, modify, contract. And we're gonna contract it by uh, anywhere between two and six pixels works. I'm just gonna use four. Depending on the size, you want it to be bigger, obviously. And then we're going to, with our highlight layer selected and our move tool selected, you're going to press Command, Shift, I, and then that'll invert the selection. And then you're going to press Delete or Backspace on a PC. And there you go. There you have what looks to be a uh, border around it. Uh, you can move it around, although it doesn't really look good. And uh, this is why I'm not really going for good looks. I'm just going for uh, how to do it sort of thing. So it's really easy. It's all you have to do if you get lost, feel free to watch the video again and again if you need to. Um, if you still need to contact me, uh, if you're having a bit of trouble, feel free to fill out the contact form at um, gilesvangreisen.com slash contact or Twitter me at gilesvangreisen and that'll also be in the sidebar. So thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video.